Have you ever pondered the secrets hidden deep within the earth, in the silent, shadowy chambers of ancient caves? Caves, those enigmatic portals to our planet's interior, have long captured the human imagination. They are nature's time capsules holding within their stony walls fascinating tales of our past. Some of these caves bear the marks of early human habitation, while others whisper of rituals and rites conducted in their secluded depths. From the arid expanses of Nevada to the verdant landscapes of England, these caves have served as more than mere shelters. They have been sacred spaces, repositories of human knowledge, and even perhaps portals to other realms. Each cave is a unique chapter in the book of human history, and within their depths we find the imprints of civilizations long gone. So embark with us on an intriguing journey into the underground, exploring the mysteries of time. Our journey begins in the arid landscapes of Nevada, USA, in the Lovelock Cave. This cave, steeped in the enigmatic lore of the Paiute Indians, whispers tales of red-haired giants who once roamed its chambers. According to legend, these behemoths were not only of towering stature, but also harbored a taste for human flesh. The archaeological findings within the cave add a layer of intrigue to this chilling myth. Among the discoveries were large human remains, possibly hinting at the existence of these giants, but the intrigue does not end there. Evidence of cannibalism was also unearthed, leaving one to ponder the veracity of the folklore. Could these findings substantiate the legend of the giants, or is there a more rational explanation? The mystery lingers. As we delve deeper into the world's most enigmatic caves, we'll find that Lovelock is but the first of many chapters in this fascinating journey through the annals of human history. From the Americas, we travel to the Middle East, to the Teo Mim Cave in Israel. This somber cavern was once the stage for rituals that sought to pierce the veil, separating life from the afterlife. Ancient necromancers, Practitioners of the arcane arts are believed to have conducted their ceremonies here, in a space where the natural and the supernatural coalesced. Archaeologists have discovered oil lamps within the cave, their flames long extinguished, but their presence suggesting rituals that took place under the cover of darkness. Perhaps more chilling are the human skulls found scattered about, silent witnesses to the macabre practices that once transpired here. These relics of the past offer a stark reminder of our ancestors' fascination with death, their attempts to communicate with those who have passed on, and their belief in the power of the spiritual realm. In this cave, the boundary between the living and the dead once blurred, leaving behind an eerie imprint of the past. Next, we delve into the depths of the Midnight Terror Cave in Belize. This cave, with its foreboding name, invites us into a chilling chapter of the ancient Maya civilization. The cave was a silent witness to a practice that may shake us to our core, human sacrifice. Thousands of human bone fragments were discovered within its confines, painting a grim picture of its past. Each fragment, a piece of the puzzle, revealing a tale of fear, faith and rituals. The Maya believed in appeasing their gods through the ultimate offering, human lives. These sacrifices, they hoped, would bring them divine favor and protection. But how did this cave earn its ominous name? It was christened the Midnight Terror Cave following a near-fatal accident. A local stumbled into the cave's entrance, plummeting into the abyss below, only to land amidst the remnants of these ancient sacrifices. The cave, named after a near-fatal accident, indeed holds a terrifying secret. Our journey continues to Gorham's Cave in Gibraltar. This hidden gem, nestled at the base of the famous Rock of Gibraltar, holds secrets of our distant past. This rocky refuge once housed our Neanderthal kin, living, thriving, and leaving their mark in the form of intriguing etchings on the cave walls. This cave offers more than just sheltered remnants of ancient civilizations. It provides a unique insight into the Neanderthal's relationship with their environment. One of the most fascinating finds here is the remains of crows. Now, you might wonder, what's so special about crow remains? These crows were not merely scavengers who met their end in the cave. They were harvested by the Neanderthals, perhaps for food, tools, or even symbolic purposes. 
This gives us a rare glimpse into the complex cognitive abilities of our long-gone relatives. This cave offers a glimpse into the lives of our long-gone relatives, the Neanderthals. We now turn our attention to a cave of a different sort, the Grotto of St. Genevieve in France. This grotto is not just a geological marvel, but a spiritual one as well. Nestled within the heart of this grotto is a chapel, a testament to the mysterious life of St. Genevieve, the patroness of Paris. St. Genevieve was said to have led a life of remarkable piety, her faithful devotion leading her to prophesy the invasion of Attila's Huns, a prophecy which led to the salvation of Paris. The chapel built around her grotto has become a beacon of hope for many, with believers journeying from far and wide to experience its supposed miraculous powers. Stories abound of the sick being healed, the despaired finding hope, and the lost finding their way within the hallowed confines of the Grotto of St. Genevieve. In this sacred space, the divine and human worlds are believed to intersect. Our next stop takes us to the man-made Chislehurst Caves in London. These labyrinthine tunnels, stretching over 22 miles, are steeped in history. During the dark days of the Second World War, the caves offered refuge as air raid shelters, shielding thousands from the blitz that ravaged London's skies. But the story of these caves stretches far beyond the 20th century. Intriguing theories suggest that these tunnels were hewn by the hands of ancient Druids and Romans, their purposes lost in the mists of time. Imagine, if you will, the flickering firelight of a Druid ceremony, the echo of Roman chants, and the quiet whisper of families sharing stories as bombs fell overhead. Each layer of history, each echo of the past, adds depth to these subterranean corridors. These caves remind us of the diverse uses of such spaces throughout history. We now journey into the depths of the Krubera Cave in Abkhazia. This cave, also known as the Voronya Cave, is not for the faint-hearted. It's the deepest known cave on Earth, reaching a staggering depth of over 2,000 meters. It offers a labyrinth of narrow passages, vertical shafts and vast chambers that challenge even the most experienced explorers. But the Krubera Cave isn't just a test of human endurance. It's also a treasure trove of unique biological findings. Within its dark corridors, scientists have discovered species of spiders, beetles and other creatures that have adapted to the cave's harsh conditions, living in total darkness and surviving on scarce resources. These species are found nowhere else on Earth, making the Krubera Cave a living testament to life's remarkable resilience and adaptability. This cave, the deepest on Earth, holds secrets yet to be discovered. Our journey now takes us to the rugged coasts of Scotland, to the Sculptor's Cave. This solitary cave, carved by nature's might, holds a chilling secret, a secret that sends shivers down the spine of even the most hardened archaeologist. Deep within the cave, a macabre discovery was made. Hundreds of child skeletons, eerily bereft of their heads, were unearthed from the cold, damp ground. This grim finding has left many questions unanswered. Who were these children? What happened to them? And most importantly, where are their heads? Theories abound from ritualistic sacrifices to the gruesome acts of war. Yet the truth remains as elusive as the missing heads. Despite the advances in modern archaeology, the sculptor's cave guards its secrets well. This cave, with its haunting discoveries, continues to puzzle archaeologists. It serves as a stark reminder of the enigmatic nature of our past and the mysteries that are yet to be uncovered. We now travel to the Prahodna Cave in Bulgaria, known as the Eyes of God. This remarkable cave, famed for its two gaping holes in the ceiling, offers a sight like no other. These natural skylights, or eyes, as they are often referred to, are believed to be the result of centuries of erosion. When the sun is at its peak, light pours in through these eyes, casting an ethereal glow onto the cave floor. The natural formation of these eyes is a testament to the power and artistry of nature itself. Over time, water and wind have sculpted the cave's limestone interior, giving birth to these stunning formations. The locals often say that when you stand under these eyes, you can feel the gaze of the divine. Whether this is true or not, one thing is certain, in this cave, nature presents an awe-inspiring spectacle. Our final stop 
takes us to a cave in Cumbria, England, a place where time seems to stand still, preserving stories from the distant past. Here, archaeologists uncovered skeletal remains from the Bronze Age, but the cave's history doesn't stop there. Alongside these ancient bones, artifacts from even earlier periods were found, suggesting this cave served multiple purposes throughout prehistoric times. Imagine the cave's cold, dark interior lit by flickering firelight as early humans sought shelter, crafted tools, and perhaps even conducted sacred rituals. Each artifact, each bone, a silent testament to a life lived thousands of years ago. And yet, despite these discoveries, we've barely scratched the surface. The true history of this cave, like many others, remains largely a mystery shrouded in the mists of time. As we conclude our journey, we are reminded of the depth of human history and the many mysteries that still remain to be fully understood.